Now it is. <laughs> Belton. Scott Belton. <laughs> okay, everybody get in the picture here. Don't get hit. It's April 9th, 2000. Once again, our under 12, under 13 team heading to the finals to win. What would this be, the third or fourth year in a row? I'm not playing, and I'm not playing. Okay, all four of you get, get in uh, line. Let's see some uh, cool dancing. Okay. Let me put a picture effect on. Let me put my picture effect on. Oh, sorry, digital effect, I mean. Flash, okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Pepper, where are your moves, Pepper? Can't see Pepper. Oh yeah, he can move it. Okay, let's let's, uh, let's go out here and check out what's going on here. Oh, the beautiful Jessica Senior. Looks like she's getting ready for a big match. Is this the Pine Valley team? Oh, look at the beautiful. Is it Jen Pelche or Robin? Robin Pelche. Hey, there's a guy there with no goggles. Who's that guy without the goggles? Who is he? Where is he? Nice outfit. Jessica looking good. Okay, uh, you can go by. Yeah. Anyways, uh, you're going to beat uh, you beat Jessica. The under 15 strategies at work. With somebody. Freak you out. And JJ, your hair is looking good. Caught on tape. Scotty, move now. Oh yeah, for sure. Here we go. Now last year at this time, Case, it was your right around your birthday, so you must have just had a birthday. Oh no, that was a different time. Okay. Well, happy birthday anyway. Thank you. you get a little nose ring going. Hey, let's check it out. Turn sideways. Wait, let me get a zoom in on it. Oh, I can't quite get it. Oh, I can hardly see it. It's so small. It's in the light. Well, it's there anyway. Get in better light. Luch, how's it going? Good, Jim. This is Freddie playing in the second game. Yeah. He's down, he's the down one. one two. Nice shot. Cricket yeah, club. Drop the first one, 10 8 to Rebecca Hayes. Three love. Sweet. You won that? We won the first game. Seven. Down. Service down. Service down. Service down. <laughs> okay. Well, she won anyway. You just knock and they can hear that more than your foot, eh? I Because you can't hear the rubber. But it hurts the tackle. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Door before they get here. Even then, he's yelling into the door. And we still playing. Done? Oh. Broken racket, broken string. Okay. Mine, mine. All right, we're oh, back. Freddy. Rebecca had broken her string and is warming up. Okay, shut up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, All right. She's not allowed to warm up. No, I'm not. Time. Love three. Freddie's been playing well in this game, but he really has to focus on volleying that serve. Good turn. One apiece. She breaks my racket. She has to give me three. Just that wrong. Hand out, level. Yeah, if she does, she has to be three. Did you tell her that? I will. One love. Unless you shake on it. No, I don't care. Oh, yes, you do. Dan. 
Hand out my love one. He's like, love person. No way. My daughter loves him. Good legs by Freddy. Wins the round. One all. Just not tall. Sure thing. She was bugging me to get her new one anyway, so I have a feeling there's a lot There's not a lot of uh, worry about the fact that this thing is broken. One off. Did you break it today, too? All right. Try and do it. No. This is not the same. That's only because, like, the rack goes for it, right? Hey, that one off. Hold on. I'm getting rid of this now. Out. This is toast. This is toast. Maybe we should break it down. Hand out one off. The more you're on stringing it, just the hell of it. Yeah. I always break things. I've broken those strings twice now. Come on, Rebecca. I can break more strings than I break the rest. It would be good if the strings outcost the rack. Let's go, Freddy! It's not even. Isn't that like a... 3-1! Don't they lose a point if they play it around? I wonder if you got that ball. They what? Uh, I meant to see if they play it coming around. No. So turn it on. 4-1! Depends how you turn. Come on! Seven hit by one, wasn't it? Okay, now let's keep going. Come on. Hand out, one four. I'm not. Here we are at Rebecca's match ball. Guys, stop. Comment. Jim, do you have any comments on Well, I'll tell you, Freddie was up 8 for that first game, had a shot, but uh, Rebecca Hazel was very determined, very tough. She's a fighter. She came back, won the first game, and did the same thing in the third game, and the fourth game, she was just a little bit too tough. So, we're down one match, but I still feel positive. I think still feel good. Yeah. Do your eyebrow thing and your ear thing. All right, that was Coach's comment with Jim Patton. That's Scotty. All right, we'll keep you up to date on this match. It's Stephanie warming up against Carly Hall. This will be interesting. We'll have second and third game coverage for you. All right, Stephanie's up one game. One second, people. And love all. And it's love all. First match, but steps up the game here. Yeah, but you have to worry about your love all. The number one. Love all. Negative. Unhappy. Love all. Serves out. It's the love all. Love all. Love all. <laughs> we'll, we'll zoom in a bit. <laughs> Yay, one love. All right, Carly breaks loose in this game. No. Stephanie gets another chance. Love one. Since 87 he's been here. Love one. Oh, 87, 97, 13 years. Good try there. All right, Carly's up one love in the second game. Stephanie's winning the game. In games, one love. We'll keep you up to date in the third game. Here we are again. Stephanie ended up winning that second game, so she's now up 2-0. And she's up one love in this third game, which promises to be a good one. Unless it goes quickly. Two left. Shoe time. 
zoom in on that scorecard, as you can see, or well, as you can't see, Stephanie won two games. Let's go, Stephanie! <laughs> And if Colin moved out of the way, we'd all live happily. Let's go, Stephanie! And if Fred, Freddie moved out of the way, we'd Free all love. And if we all didn't have to live with Andrew, we'd all be very happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did Steph keep that one up? Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> we we'll leave you with this last rally. Stephanie is up 4-0 in the third game, 2-0 in games. And you haven't commentated before, have you? <laughs> Actually, I have. <laughs> That's Freddy and his lollipop. Freddy, do you have any comments on the way you played in that match? It's worth it, isn't it? No, it's worth it. No comment. Hello. And Colin. Just lollipops, no comment. But Brian's not by very oh, wait, Brian is 11? Not by very far. Back. Oh yeah, this should be 27. By a lot. Not too far. Five love. Not too far. But Brian's pretty good. No. But when Brian's 11, he'll be better than Colin is now. No, he won't. Yeah, well, a lot better. Uh, six love. Six love. Because if you think of it, he's nine now. Yeah. Just that uh, Colin trains really hard each every day. Things are looking things are looking tough, Bonds. Things are looking tough. What do you say? <laughs> tough, JB, tough. <laughs> Who's gonna do it? I think they be the first one. Yeah. Ping, ping, ping. Love one! One more! She's like this little little tiny shell of McDonald's. Very excited. One love! You can like hardly see it though. You have to have that. There's no sound. It's hard because you have to walk down. Oh, what? Not three! It's like shut the door, Billy. There is no door. I'm like, what? He's like, whoa, don't look. One three! Yeah, the showers, there's no like doors for the showers. And, and you're like so close together. Two and three! <laughs> <laughs> that looks fun, that was fun. Oh, shut the door! There is no door! <laughs> and then he's like, what do you mean? And I look in and he's like, hey, don't look! Three, two! <laughs> and then Craig walked in. All five of you. I know the middle ones are like huge. You got like a lot. It's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. It's two. How big? How big are these dolls? I have a feeling even sometimes when their children will grow up, I'll still see those parents helping them in some way. But to the parents, this league is is a big part of your work too. And then finally, I think the coaches speaking on behalf of them. You've seen a lot of us around today. We would echo that tremendously. Uh, we try to play our role, but we couldn't do it without the parents' help. So players, parents, coaches, your day, thanks so much for participating and getting this to this point. And uh, second biggest thank you goes to our sponsor. And I sort of made a little deal with uh, young Fred. Because I said, Fred, we want to make sure that I've got your dad by my right shoulder now for the next six, seven years. I said, okay, Rob, I'll keep getting that team in there. <laughs> this is special because some uh, Fred has been before, but uh, often uh, I think it's it's nice for him to see what respect we all have for Black Knight. Black Knight recognizes that this is an area they should be involved in. And, and and they do it so willingly and easy for us at Squash Ontario and the clubs. And uh, we can't say enough thank you, Fred, if you'd echo them through. But Fred, too, is, is someone that uh, you see him when Fred was 
well, I might say this way, <laughs> <and> <laughs> this way. But through the years, Fred's always got the smile, always got the service to make squash fun. Always a nice person to see walking your pub. So Fred, to walk by you. Uh, we'll go by uh, age group starting with your 13s. We had a, a battle for third place today between uh, Glenway and Pine Valley. Glenway gets fourth place, and I'd like to bring up uh, Zach Tripper, Eric Coolahan, Jacob Stirrup, and Mike Pomeroy to see Fred. Glenway, fourth place under third. All right. shot while I have the picture taken. Yeah, and in the championship matchup under 13, a real nice uh, grouping because these two teams all season long were the top of the heap, and it was a fun to look forward to the matchups today. We had the cricket versus granite. Cricket started off real strong in that first matchup tonight. They couldn't, weren't quite able to turn around, but next year, look out. They'll be back and they'll be top. So cricket second place. team letting us win. And as champions of under 13, and here we go. sort of setting up in a precedent, I think three years sort of makes a dynasty. I think that's the definition. They've just taken it for the third year. So all the clubs, uh, Glenway, Pine Valley, Cricket, ORC, Pickering, we've got to make sure we, we work on that under 13 or they're going to own it. That they are the champs third year in a row from Granite. Fred Reed. Fred, sit down. Nice, nice. <laughs> Fred, watch everybody. And over Stephanie Evans, Andrew McReynolds, and Colin West. Did you win first? Oh, I'm a man. Oh, that didn't hurt. 
he still asks about the lake. That's one of the first <laughs> wondering how our scheduling is going in this Stop hitting me, so Brian. Another person that remembers the fun of this lake. Uh, the Under-19 Championship, this is the last one, and uh, thank you very much, everybody, for coming. We had uh, Pine Valley versus Glenway, and I guess it sort of sums up the, year, the whole year on Under-19. It always seemed like... Pine Valley, one time we went down to RCYC, neither team was there, but we were there. <laughs> Today we were here for the finals, and Glenway, which had finished second, didn't make it. So, But I'll say, under 19, they still supported the league. I think that's very important for the younger kids to see. It is a league you can enjoy all the time. So champions, under 19, from Pine Valley, Robin right. McGuire, Dale Beasley, Thank Jeffrey Fong, and Greg Hunter. Oh, don't. Thanks so much, everybody. And that's the award ceremony. 